Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you guys if you guys are planning on picking up a Mac Mini um, and you guys want to do it like a memory upgrade, just it's not very hard to do a memory upgrade on the, a Mac Mini, so it's cheaper to buy always the lower end uh, memory and purchase it separately. You could always buy the memory uh, somewhere else. <clears throat> I'll show you how easy this is to um, just open up your Mac Mini. Let's take this out of the package. Of course, you, oh, this is all you get now is uh, get the power cord in. You do get a HDMI, as you see in the package. It's got the H HDMI here. Um, to uh, DVI. So if you have a DVI monitor, um, that's what you get in the back. You'll see there's the HDMI right here. It also comes with a Thunderbolt, which if you have the old Thunderbolt connection, uh, adapter you could still use those adapters and it will um, display in your display so you can have dual displays as well one through here and here here's your RJ45 firewall HDMI Thunderbolt and you get four USBs here and of course you get the SD card reader there in the back and there you go in the headset and then there you got the infrared and of course there's a power button and the power cord goes there let me stick this out of the package and we'll move this out of the way here okay let me show you as I showed you in there you got the front for the remote if you purchase the remote that will control and then the light lights up right here showing you that it is on but anyway just to upgrade it it's very simple and easy um, you just flip it over on the bottom and as you can see once you flip it over you'll see two, two little dots here that means it's closed and open and you see these two here so basically what you have to do let me move this down for you guys Let's set that down so what you guys have to do is get this and kinda like push it down and it's you notice how that slid over from the closed slot once that's done you can go ahead and pop the top open or the I should say the bottom and there you will see there's the airport uh, antennas there in here and there is your fan here that keeps everything cooled down in this little unit and here you see the memory again this is very easy to upgrade yourself there's these two little dots or levers here basically you just pull them out like this and as you see this will pop out then you'll take out the old RAM same thing with the bottom one you just slide it out like that pop it out and of course these are the one gigabyte ones here so you can go ahead and then purchase your four gigabytes or depending on what you want to upgrade it to and of course you'd have to buy it in sets so that way you can put it in here and again to install it you just got to make sure as you notice that that you got the longer piece short piece you can you can tell here the little notches here so um, you can't make a mistake so you gotta just make sure you just align that to the memory and then you just slide it back in here just a little tricky but since there's not too much room in here everything's very crowded and you can see once you slide it in it's kind of like at an angle there and then once you slide it in you gotta make sure that you don't see none of that copper from the memory showing that means it's well in so then you go ahead and push it down and it snaps in let me see if I can do this here so I can show you guys you push it in like this it goes in it's all in so now all you have to do is just kind of push it down and that's it and then you'll be all upgraded it's a lot cheaper than um getting um the upgraded model with the memory or trying to upgrade it at the apple store so if you want to save a couple of dollars or actually i should say in some cases a couple hundred dollars uh you can go ahead and purchase your memory and um do it yourself then put the cover again it's very easy as you can see uh there there's a two little 
dots here again where this is going to line up this has got uh where it goes in here these little notches here so we're gonna go ahead and put oops let's put this little white dot here lining up with that first one and then kind of push it down and turn it it's a little it's a little tight but it will turn there you go as you can see uh, it's now on the black so it's locked so I just want to show you guys uh, just a quick review I'm just gonna test these out got a couple of these to test out uh, we want to see how quickly between the i5 and the i7 is running a couple programs thanks for watching